Rangers are currently top of the Cinch Premiership and with that Occupy, that Champions League golden ticket that automatically gets you into the group stages. However, if Rangers can stay there, there's a potential massive European boost for them next season. Welcome back guys to Fog football and as things stand right now there is some good news for rangers but also potentially some bad news for either rangers celtic or whoever wins the league in the future but we're not going to talk about the future right now we're going to talk about the current season that rangers currently lead in the cinch premiership and in recent years due to the scottish coefficient that top spot in the scottish premiership has guaranteed you a spot in the Champions League group stages and that is going to be the case for this season too so whoever wins the league whether it be Celtic Rangers or possibly even Hearts they will go directly into the Champions League group stage however there's good news for Rangers and not so much good news for Celtic because Celtic have been shite in Europe for a long long time now unlike Rangers who have actually had some pretty good success in the recent years. And of course, nobody will forget that run that they had in the Europa League, which of course managed to gain them or help gain them 62,000 ranking points in the coefficients. And based on right now, according to football rankings, who have been tracking the coefficient of all the clubs in Europe that currently occupy Champions League positions, if it finished right now, Rangers with 62,000 coefficient points would be in pot two for the Champions League groups. Now, we know next season they have reformatted the whole Champions Champions League there will be no eight groups of four instead we're just gonna have one big massive league where everybody plays eight games however they're still keeping a pot system so they're going to decide who plays who based on coefficient points and based on pot rankings so that's massive news for Rangers because the last time they were in the group stage they were pot four and they got a group of death they got Liverpool, Napoli, Ajax and we all know how it ended. It ended in Rangers becoming statistically the worst Champions League group stage for one season. So that was shit for Rangers. They do not want to experience that again. And we're getting a pot two ranking. You're pretty much going to get yourself a good group. Now, yeah, you could be unlucky, but the likelihood is if you're pot two, you're going to get a much easier run of fixtures than you would if you're pot four. If you're pot four, then pretty much every group most groups you can go into are going to be almost like a group of death. You're going to be the underdogs. But if you're pot two, then you would be extremely unlucky to go into a group where you are the worst team. So I think this is good news for Rangers, obviously. However, there is some bad news for Rangers, bad news for Celtic and bad news for Scottish clubs in general. Because this, based on the way the coefficient is going at the moment and the current teams from Scotland are performing in Europe, next season... It's going to be the last season where we're not only guaranteed the winner of the league going straight into the group stage, but also third place going straight into the Europa Conference League group stage. Now, over the past three seasons, we have enjoyed first and third automatically getting some form of group stage football, but that could go away next season. And it all depends on what Rangers can do this season. Rangers, the only Scottish club remaining, they are coming into the Europa League in the last 16. We need them to start doing well. We need The whole of Scotland needs Rangers to do well. We need Rangers to win. We need Rangers to get as many coefficient points as possible and try and keep Scotland in a good position in European football. Now, I'm not going to say the results have been great. I'm not going to say that Scotland has been doing fantastic in Europe. But for the past three seasons now, every midweek when European football's on, until at least Christmas, we've had three Scottish teams playing in the group stages. And that's way better than the dark days. It wasn't that long ago where Rangers were out of the top flight. Celtic were the only team that could stay in Europe past August because all the other teams lost in the qualifiers, and sometimes Celtic weren't even qualifying for the group stages. So, yeah, those were dark times. Celtic were the only team representing Scotland, and a lot of times they didn't get far either. They were getting knocked out in the groups as well. So, you know, we haven't really had it this good in a really long time. And while I would prefer the teams to do better, while I would prefer more victories, I would like to see our teams go further. In order for us to improve in Europe, we need to make sure we're in Europe and keeping the coefficient high, 
keeping three teams from Scotland guaranteed group stage football is the best way to do it. So I want to see Scottish teams do better. I want to see Scottish teams qualify for the groups. I want to see Scottish teams every single season, whether it be Europa Conference League, Europa League or Champions League, I want to see us make it to the knockout stages, try and get to the last 16, try and get to the quarterfinals, make that a regular thing rather than a rare occurrence. But for us to improve in Europe, we need to be in Europe. And it's a lot easier to stay in Europe when you've got three teams in it than to drop out and then try and get your coefficient points back up there. So I hope Rangers can have a strong end to the European campaign. Hopefully they can go far. Hopefully they can go all the way and win it, unlike a few years ago where they were stopped in the final. Anyway, guys, that's it. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're a non-Rangers fan, do you support Rangers in Europe? If you're a football club, of anybody in Scotland and your team's not in Europe, do you support the other clubs? Let us know in the comments down below. I might even put a poll up for that because I'm kind of interested to see uh, what the what the scale is like and how many people actually get behind all Scottish clubs. It'd be interesting. I might put a poll up for that. So yeah, we'll probably see what happens there. Anyway guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.